talking about as you look at this play right now. This is that foot on the line. That's why it was only a two pointer. You saw the right foot across the uh, three point line. Meanwhile, at the free throw line is Gerald Green, who's a fifth time he's gone to the free throw line this year. He's three of four at the charity strike. And he makes the first. That's a one and one situation. We were talking about last year in that tournament with uh, the Big East and Seton Hall. They lost the last two games last season. They lost it in the tournament, and then they lost that NCAA, NCAA game. You know, so that's that's very interesting. And like you said, a lot of people are surprised. They finished 18 and 12, 9 and 7 in the conference. They lost to Wichita State in the first round, 86 to 66, which didn't help the cause any. Double high screen high with the two big guys inside. Grant Billmeyer sets a big, big, strong screen, rolls to the basket, and he lays it in. Yeah, good Bill play. Meyer, yeah. yeah, good play by the big fella. Got the presence to keep it above his head, then bring the ball down low so the little guys can slap it away, Charlie. That's, that's, a, hard, yep. that's a hard thing to coach, isn't it? I'll tell you what, big guys have a habit of bringing it down. Grant Billmeyer did a tremendous job right there. Well, you know a lot of these kids because you probably tried to recruit some of them, didn't you? Yeah, I, I know quite a few of them out there, exactly. There's so many good players in the country anymore, Charlie. You can go about anywhere. Kids can really play. The level of basketball in these, in, in right now is tremendous. I'm interested to see how, how both teams are defending the ball screen right now. Good rebound. Nice by rebound inside by Brian Lang, the junior, the team's leading scorer. Last year started 20 games for the Pirates of Seton Hall and Louis Orr. And, you know, a lot of people felt that Louis Orr would keep his job after what he was able to do and still get the team to the NCAA tournament, but it didn't help him. It's hard to figure out sometimes, Charlie, in this business. Our business is crazy. Louis Orr did a tremendous job, and they just said they needed to change, and that's what they've done. They've gone with Gonzo and changed personalities there. And he was, uh, he's a 18th coach. He was a head coach at Manhattan for seven years. As you see, Timmons takes it in strong. Great play by Timmons taking the ball extremely hard to the basket. He got a sprint back in transition, and the Pirates had a little tough, getting, tough time getting back that time in transition, which led to the easy basket. We talk about Gonzalez. He's a graduate of Buffalo State, and you know he had a pretty good record at Manhattan: 129 wins, only 77 losses in the seven years he was there. As we see. Harvey with a running Eugene jumper. Harvey. Eugene Harvey's a good looking freshman out of New York City. Played for Bob, uh, Danny Hurley at St. Benedict's. Uh, just a tremendous player, and Gonzo picked him up late. He's gonna carry, this, carry the load as a point guard this year. Tough for a freshman point guard to come in. Long jumper doesn't fall for McLean. Under 10 minutes to go in the first half. Balls with the ball. Inside to Bill Meyer. Bill Meyer. Strong move inside for two. Looks like uh, Gonzo knew what he was doing starting Bill Meyer today. Big fellas having a good game for him. Ten point lead. Todd Bozeman takes a timeout. His ten. His team lead, trailing by ten points with 9.29 to go. As you see Harvey going to the basket very strong. And you're talking about, you know, Bobby Gonzalez with that excellent run while he was at Manhattan, a seven-year run. He was hired not only for his coaching ability, but his ability to recruit, especially in the New York area. And he proved his worth when he got the job. He got the job. He went out right away, and he got Eugene Harvey uh, from Brooklyn, New York, played St. Benedict's. He also signed Larry Davis from Christ the King uh, out of New York City. And, and, and he has a strong presence and he has a lot of contacts in the city. Gonzo's a high energy guy. Gonzo, Gonzo is wired for 220. <laughs> I'm just telling you, they had to change all electric at, at Seton Hall's campus when Gonzo arrived. Well, they say, you know, the recruiting efforts, if, if anything that was a, a negative as far as Louis Orr was concerned was he didn't have the connections and the contacts in the New York area. Well, Louis, Louis come from the, came from the Midwest. Louis Orr's a great coach, a great human being, uh, did an outstanding job when he was there. And it's amazing schools think they need a change, and, and that's what they did. And they, they went with a completely opposite type of guy, uh, Louis being pretty low-key, Gonzo being wired, and a uh, very excitable guy. Almost a turnover, and it is. Dawes takes it in, knocked away, and the foul is going to be whistled against Roger Barnes, the junior from Columbia, Maryland, and River Hill High, the walk-on, who started against... 
University of Virginia. When we come back, 10-point game. Twenty-one eleven, our score here. Nine sixteen remaining in the first half, and a lot of the scoring for Seton Hall has come down low, thanks to that young man there taking it in strong. We're talking about Stan Gaines, who has four points, and then Bill Meyer, who's leading all scores. Well, all scores on his team with six points. He gets them in low. Three for three down low for Mr. Bill Meyer. Timmis is leading all scores with seven points, but four of those points have come at the free throw line. There you see Mr. Bill Meyer, senior out of Pennington, New Jersey, co-captain of the team, went to St. Patrick High, and it's never been much of a score, but he's a scorer today. Well, I'll tell you, a surprise starter today, and they've taken advantage of the big guy. He's the biggest guy on the floor on both teams. Got a strong presence inside. Grant is a hard worker, extremely hard worker. Not the quickest kid in the world. And I was a little worried about Gonzo's style fitting Grant Billmeyer, but he started in the day and he's paying dividends. The balls hits a pair of free throws to stretch the lead to 12, 23 to 11. You talk about Billmeyer, he started 44 of the 91 games since he's been there. This was the first start this year for him. This is the third game of the year for the Pirates of Seton Hall. Morgan State now down by 12. They were trailing 9-0 early in the game. Seton Hall shows a 2-3 zone look for the first time today, Charlie. We'll see how the Bears tack the zone. And they're just having problems getting shots to fall. Not that they're not getting them. Holy shot just didn't go down that time. Good strategy by Gonzo coming out of the timeout. Goes to the 2-3 zone. It confuses the Bears a little bit. Battle on the floor for the loose ball. We're gonna have an alternating possession arrow. And it's going to go in favor of the Pirates of Seton Hall if Timmis checks back into the lineup. And he'll replace Gilroy Holmes Hemsley, who would come in number 44, the freshman out of Fairfax High in Los Angeles. Great hustle for the basketball. Bodies flying all over the floor, diving for loose balls. Coach's dream seeing kids on the floor. 2-3 zone out of the out-of-bounds. That's been the... Uh, what well, Todd Bozeman has been using versus out of bounds plays all day. We'll see how Seton Hall attacks it. Bill Meyer picks it up, turns around, finally gets it inside. Shot clock down to three seconds. The shot is off the mark by Davis. Dawes with the rebound, blocked by Coley. Bill Meyer back up with it, gets his own rebound, puts it up again, and we're going to get a travel. That big fella is working hard in there, Charlie. He certainly is. Got some offensive rebounding there. I give a lot of credit. He's, uh, he's relentless on the glass. Watch him battle inside. Second second effort, third effort. That's what you need from the big guy. You got to love it. And gets his own rebound. Just didn't finish that time. Unfortunately, here's a turnover right into the hands of Lang, who pulls up at the free throw line for two. Soft touch, real soft touch. That's hard to do in basketball. Get a player going full speed, pull up at the free throw line, soft stroke by 